Hello there and welcome to my channel. My name is Linda and this channel is called Linda T70. Um, it's good to have your company today. Um, I've got um, a little, uh, well, there's quite a few bits here actually. It's a B&M and a Home Bargains haul for you. Um, but before I go on with that, uh, just to thank everyone who is come has come back to watch me again. Thank you very much. Um, if you've stopped on this video and found me for the first time, I hope you'll subscribe or you'll at least be a, a regular viewer. Um, thank you so much for doing that. Thank you for subscribing if you have. Um, and also for commenting. I really like reading your comments and uh, it's nice to have a little chat with you. So thank you very much. Um, okay, so in the interests of um, in your entertainment, <laughs> um, me and current husband went on a bit of a road trip yesterday. I wanted to find two. I wanted to find a B and M store, which was on a retail park. We do have one near where I live, but it's in the high street, so it's difficult. You because you can never just go in and buy one thing in there. You go in thinking I don't need anything at all, and you come out with twenty five pass, you know, bits, don't you? Um, and then you you know you have to kind of get it all back to the car, so. Um, yeah, so to find a and m where there was, um, you know, like on a retail park and to find a home bargains that was quite near it. So I went to, well, we went to, um, we went about half an hour away. So, um, yes, it was a bit of a mission, but um, I did manage to spend some money. So that was uh, <laughs> the object of the game, I suppose. Um, so I'll go through quickly what I bought. Um, it's a bit of a varied pot here um, and if I try and find that I, some of the prices are on as you can imagine being b and I'll start with B&M but other things I might have to look on this or just guess because uh, I don't know how much you care about how much these things cost um, right we'll start with my tea bags I needed some tea bags I buy Yorkshire tea um, I just like it because it's I like strong tea I like a nice strong cuppa and these seem to fit the bill. Um, this is a 160 tea bag pack plus 50 free, so you've got 210 in the um, packet, and they were £4.99. And I couldn't work out in the shop whether it was expensive or not, but I, or you know, more or less expensive than my supermarket, but I figured I need them so. I might as well buy them and it does turn out I looked on the Sainsbury's website and I tried I found the nearest thing to it in which was branded Yorkshire tea and they do seem to be a good buy so there we go um, next thing I bought for well, uh, we bought some descaler for the uh, for my, my husband's car van he's got a van um, but I can't find anywhere and I've looked and looked how much we paid for that but that was a necessity anyway. Do you know, I've been sitting here all morning. I've got two dogs and then one goes out in the garden. I know this, this happens up with everybody on YouTube that's got dogs, doesn't it? And then one comes in and then the other one wants to go out and then they scratch to go out both together and then they go, oh my God, it's just ridiculous. So I'm just, just going to ignore her for a minute and see if she goes and sits down. Um, next thing I bought was a spice rack. I quite like the idea of this one. Um, at the moment, I don't keep my spice, spices out. They're in a drawer, which is fine. But I'd like to get them out of the drawer to give myself more drawer space. Um, and I don't like a lot of stuff on my worktop. So it's like different at Christmas when I put all sorts of Christmas stuff there. But, you know, decorations. But um, the rest of the time, I don't. And I saw this and I thought, I think all the if there's enough room for all this, the herbs and spices I've got. And it's nice and thin and narrow. And um, so I thought, yeah, it's eight quid. I don't know if that's a lot or not, but I thought that would look all right. So I'm going to give that a shot. Um, I bought for my biscuits. Um, I don't have a biscuit barrel. Um, I don't keep them on out. You know, I just keep them in a cupboard, but I keep them in a container. And the container I've currently got, I don't think is airtight because they go stale quite quickly. So I saw this. I did look for a biscuit barrel, but I didn't see anything I wanted or I liked. Um, it's a um, cereal storage container and it was five pounds. It's 
vacuum storage so it's it's going to keep them fresh and it will fit nicely in the cupboard because again it's nice and narrow so we'll give that a go um next thing i got some astonish lime blast which i've used before and i found quite efficient and effective to use i think this was 199 for 750 milliliters um comfort um 900 milliliters here and this this was about the same price i think about 199 um i think this was 225 this is simple um shower cream it's 675 millilitres I mean I don't know if you really bothered how much is in the bottle but I, I as a habit with certain items I just look because obviously you you might look at you know two containers one looks the packaging is different and you might think well there must be more in that or less in this one but you don't always know you know you can't always tell unless you look at the what the manufacturer tells you so anyway that's what i i do so there's quite a big bottle of that and that was 225 which is not too bad i don't think um moving on this was a a purchase of something i don't really need and i've never thought i needed but there we are i bought it um some measuring stacking measure what are they called stackable measuring spoons um, and some of the recipes you look at, particularly online, have um, what I think are American measurements, which is cups rather than um, ounces or um, grams like we use here. So um, I know we're supposed to be metric, aren't we? But you no, know, I'm, I'm kind of an imperial person. Um, and uh, anyway, I bought these. So we've got uh, four measuring uh, spoons. Um, from one cup down to a quarter of a cup so if I don't use them I'll have to donate them um, I bought some food containers um, I don't know where mine have gone you wouldn't think you'd lose food containers would you but I used to have a um, you know this sort of with this sort of snappy thing that I used to put stuff in the fridge in but I you know they all seem to have disappeared um, this is the, these ones are marketed as for children for pat lunches, but I just thought they were a good shape, and they were three pounds for two. And this is four food tubs with. Um, the, oh, by the way, the, the, in case you, you want to know about that, uh, these are called these are simply kids, and they are f uh, freezer, microwave, and um, I don't know what that symbol means proof anyway bpa free and obviously they're re reusable um these are these ones are freezer microwave and dishwasher safe bpa free again <clears throat> excuse me with airtight lids and there's four of those and these were 350 i wasn't going to get them both but i did what can i say um in our house, I don't really, I don't, I'm sure there must be some of you out there that are the same. I don't know how, if I put the hours or the minutes that we put together, which would come to hours and hours looking for current husband's glasses. I mean, um, so he bought three pairs. I think they were all 199 each, just these readers. They seem quite thin and flimsy, but to be honest, even I, I paid like twelve quid for the Foster Grant ones for him, um, you know, from the supermarket, and he loses them just the same, and they break just the same because he continually puts them on his head, and of course that's the thing that weakens the arms of your glasses. So I got him to go and get his eyes tested. I said, well, perhaps you can just get some glasses you keep on all the time, like me, because you know I take my glasses off at night and then I put them on in the morning and then I take them off at night you know I don't have to keep fiddling about with them um but he doesn't he hasn't got anything very much wrong with his eyes so we've got to continue with playing hunt the specs for the next well the foreseeable future really um next thing I bought was a thingy that goes over the bath um that you put your sponge and whatever on which I've managed perfectly well with for a number of years but um, I thought I'd give something like this a try because this is plastic and in the past 
I've had wooden ones and those metal ones. Why do they make so much stuff for your bathroom that's metal? I mean, it's ridiculous, isn't it? Because it just all rusts, it all corrodes and rusts. I mean, it's just absolutely mad. Um, so anyway, I got this. Um, it was five pounds and there, I don't like a lot of stuff sitting on the side of the bath. I'd rather it was on something like this and then it can be, it doesn't get, you know, capture all the water. So I'm going to give that a go. Possibly a waste of time and money and, uh, but you know, let's have a, we'll see. Okay, what have we got next? I've got, um, I bought two pairs of girls. Well, they're not necessarily girls. They are gender fluid, I'm sure. Um, kids' pyjamas. Um, in a couple of weeks, I've got two of my granddaughters. They're not sisters, they're cousins, coming to stay for um, the night. And we used to do this quite a lot before lockdown when they were a lot smaller. And um, I don't, my thing was I always used to buy them new pyjamas, which, of course drove their parents mad because they'd go home with more stuff than they came with but um i saw these in there and i thought um there are five or each um we've got one there with stars on can you sorry get the light on it um yeah little stars and this one's got little pandas on it and i thought well i don't know how i've never bought anything um, clothing, like clothing from B&Q, uh, oh, I keep wanting to say B&Q, B&M, but, um, so I don't know how their sizes are, but uh, they, they are both seven, one's almost eight, um, and I bought eight to nine, so I figure we'll give that a go, won't we, so I thought they were quite cute, um, just getting a big pile of stuff on the table here, um, got some shower, men's shower stuff um, I think that was about $1.99 as well oh I thought I'd try these I know these aren't a new thing these um, uh, dryer balls but um, I don't normally I don't use them as a rule so I'm getting a lot of glare here um, I just use my tumble dryer and try not to leave things in for longer than they need be and find the appropriate program and etc um but anyway i thought i'll give these a go so um, i'm sure most of you know you just put those in the dryer and um they're supposed to make the things drier dry quicker and um be crease free etc so i, I have a trouble the problem i have with my um drying things is when I do my um, bed linen when you've got fitted sheets I've, I've had to start putting them in singly because everything gets caught in the the kind of sides it seems to all gravitate I don't know if it's my tumble dryer or the fact that my well I mean I've been using fitted sheets for years but I only seem to have had the problem with this tumble dryer but I thought well maybe this might help so we've got that two of those to give a try um, I bought this which is a microfiber washable doormat um, not so much to be a doormat but um, it's to put under my dog's drinking water bowls I don't know if you just heard a funny sound but my dog was I, I leave the, their water bowl by the back door and um, they sort of use it quite frequently Sorry, I'm going to have to get up and let them out because they're both standing there now. <clears throat> I don't know, they run down the garden and they just bark to either come back in or just stand there staring at the back door. Um, so anyway, I bought this to put on the hard floor. Um, and I thought that's just an ideal size and it's handy that it can go in the washing machine because I've got, obviously I've got carpet in this part of the room. Well, not obviously, but I have. And um, this part is just uh, hard flooring. So yeah, it's, um, this was five pounds. Absorbs mud and moisture like magic. 
and it's 40 by 60 centimetres, so a foot, in my language, a foot that way and just a bit over a foot that way, so that's quite, that should be quite useful. Um, what else? Oh, I, put, um, I bought one of these that everyone seems to use on YouTube, a um, makeup band thing to put around your hair when you're putting your makeup on. Um, that was, there we go. Um, hair, oh no, that's a hair. Um, talk among yourselves, will you? Oh, I can't see it. I don't think it was very much. Wouldn't be really, would it? If you're desperate to know, let me know and I'll spend a bit more time looking at the, the receipt. Um, I haven't taken it out of the thing yet, but get the idea. Um, so I just let my dogs back in. So that was this. Um, I bought some... I think these were 179 Fabulosa um, antibacterial wipes, clean shines, long lasting freshness, bleach free and multi surface. I'm going to keep those in my car because I never clean my car. I just wait, <laughs> wait for it to be serviced or the MOT or something and sometimes it gets washed at the same time. Well not so much on the MOT but the service and um, so that's basically once a year. Um, and it's really dusty in there so um, yeah that's what I bought there's loads in there feels like there's loads anyway um, 80 there we go 80 wipes um, oh yeah current husband has, uh, thinks this is quite a good idea but I'm not entirely sure this will help this is a sink strainer. I think we all know what a sink strainer is. I've got one of double sink and you know the little catcher thing that is in the plug um, that you push down to when you want to fill the sink up and then you just, do you know what I mean? It sort of catches all the bits. Um, well, over Christmas, one has obviously got put in the rubbish and picked up and just been, I've lost it. I can't find it anywhere. So he bought this. Um, I did try something like this in my bath once and it didn't work so we'll give it a go anyway. Um, I don't really need it but he seemed to think it was a good idea and as you can see that was $1.99. <clears throat> right, now we have this. Um, keep this handy by the elder bed no um i had a i went, went one of the things when i met my current husband that was impressed he was quite impressed about was because i'd lived without a another person apart from my son um before i met him i had a toolbox with some tools in and there was just you know nothing i wasn't sort of jigsawing the shapes out of wood or <clears throat> excuse me anything uh, you know mad it was just general tools he was quite impressed with that and I had a little hammer in it which he always calls a toffee hammer and I don't know if that's a thing or if that's just him insulting my hammer but anyway he managed to finally break it a few weeks ago so um, I bought myself a new hammer um, but I was it was six pounds um, I'm hoping the head thing doesn't fly off the first time I try and use it I mean I've never bought a hammer from anywhere other than a, a you know a DIY place before but um yeah so got a hammer um got some cod liver oil tablets for um my husband because he's always moaning that everything aches um I mean, you know, he's bought all these interesting things. This is one of those things. This was two two ninety nine. Probably won't last, will it? You know, you when you do corking and stuff when you're decorating. I can never work these things. You know, you put the ch the thing in there, and yeah. Anyway, that's for him. Um, some more glasses. 
Oh, I do like a bit of colouring. I like colouring. I find it really, really relaxing. Um, I mean, I'm not very good at it, uh, like, <laughs> like a lot of things, but um, I do like it. And I, I, we, <laughs> I had quite a collection of, well, I have, I've got to be positive about this. I have quite a collection of um, pens and, pen, you know, colouring pens and pencils and felts and watercolour brushes and things which when I um, got rid of my old coffee table and did the de Christmas decor um, got put somewhere very safe well I've you know we're, we're the halfway through January now and God knows where they are well if he does I wish he'd tell me so until I, such time as I find them I've bought myself some emergency colouring pencils um, let me see if I can find these um, I'm sorry, don't strain. Oh, these were three ninety-five. Three ninety-five for some colouring pencils for me. Had to hide those when uh, we had children in the house. Um, and on that note, um, dogs at the door again. Honest to goodness, um, I bought these. I've never seen them before, but they are. But each pack's got six in. This is the bluey green range, and this is the pinky red range. And they had um, a purpley pack as well. But I didn't. I thought I'll just try these. Two fifty each for their metallic fine tips. But they've got one end is a metallic end, and the other is a water water based brush tip. So um, using those for my colouring. What's next? Well, this kind of made me laugh. Um, I don't know whether it's going to be any good. This is for painless hair removal. Um, it's a studio hair hair eraser, which I haven't taken out of the packet, actually. I'm imagining it, you just rub it against your face or something. But, um, oh, it's really funny. I don't know if anyone of you have used these. If, let me know. It looks like something out of space, doesn't it? A spaceship. Um, so this side is reflective, but it's kind of got a texture to it. And it looks like you just rub away. Suitable for use on arms, armpits, legs, back and chest hair. Well, my chest hair is okay. I don't have too much. Don't use on sensitive areas or if you have sensitive skin. It all can be used like a pumice stone as well to remove dry skin on your heels. Um, yeah. Doesn't say you can use it on your face, which of course us old ladies know facial hair. I mean... Uh, yeah, might give that a go. I can't really see me doing it on my, arm, my armpits. It'd probably take all day, wouldn't it? But there we are. <clears throat> Dogs at the back door again. I mean. Oh, I bought a cup. People always talk about these things. Skinny. I, uh, my daughter gave me some once. She's trying to tell me something, obviously. Um, do, do I know how much they were? I don't think they, were, they couldn't have been better. Oh, here we go. Skinny. Uh -huh. 125. I bought a chocolate fudge one and a triple chocolate brownie. Now, believe it or not, although I'm fat, I don't really eat loads and loads of chocolate and sweets, but you do get every now and again, you get a bit of a thing for something sweet, don't you? Even if you're not particularly sweet tooth. So, give them a try. Um, bought some more vitamin D tablets I take those I don't know I was, I was listening to something actually the other day because I know vitamin D is the most important thing to take um, but um, they were saying is, is taking a tablet the only way we can get vitamin D apart from, from the sun, and of course living in the UK, um, it doesn't have to be boiling hot, it just to be, has to be sunny, doesn't it? 
to help you. Um, and, and of course, I never knew any of this when I was younger. You know, we're just, um, I never th thought at one day that my bones might um, be deficient in anything because nobody ever told me. And um, anyway, so I've started taking them. And I know you shouldn't take too much. And the ones I, I take normally, which I get from my supermarket, are, um, it just says one a day. So obviously that's what I take. But they were saying that you can also get vitamin D from certain foods. And they were the foods that I eat quite a lot of. Um, there was mushrooms, broccoli. Oh, there were several things that they said, which I didn't know there was vitamin D in these things. I don't know if I'm the only person in the world that doesn't know this. I do feel like sometimes I'm the only person in the world that doesn't know stuff. Um, but anyway, um, I don't, they say you shouldn't have too much of it, but I don't know if you eat vegetables and you have a vitamin D tablet, whether that is too much, I don't know. Anyway, we'll try. Um, then I bought this, which is, uh, just a van, I've never tried vanish branded stuff before. Um, this is a power gel stain remover in case you can't see that very well, um, with a sort of a, dingy top I suppose it just oozes out I do have to use stain re removers I mean just to, like dripping when you've got boobs or a belly you know you have your, when you drop anything it always lands on you doesn't it um and another pair of those glasses right I shall just show you very quickly now the um bits I got from um home bargains Hardly anything there. I was very disappointed with that. Um, I'm sorry, I'm just going to let my dog out. Um, okay, yeah, so the, the home bargains I went, I, I've watched lots of people do um, home bargains hauls and I was thinking in the quest for, for me finding some more um, ornaments for my house, that might be the place to go because people seem to have loads of different stuff. And I've said this before, I don't know what it is about where I live, but we seem to have the poorest selection of stuff, stock in the shops that we've got around here. But anyway, maybe it's just my imagination. So uh, the only things I did buy, they didn't have anything in the homeware department. They had a wall at the back in the, in the branch I went into. And um, it was just like kind of, there was lamps, candles, I mean... We don't just want candles, we want other stuff. And we don't want figurines in, that are dancing around the room either. Now, but there are other things I'm sure people could design for us to buy. Um, so they had lamps some candles, a couple of other random things which I can't even remember, and like sort of duvets and that, and that. Everything else was just stuff that you find anywhere. Um, but I did buy a couple of things for um i'm going to do try and do some chris uh, christmas some easter crafting and make a couple of de decorations for 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 easter time um I'm, i don't know if i said this in one of my videos ages ago when i was buying decorations for probably halloween we quite often do um an easter thing with children which involves my daughter usually does it. she's really good at doing this sort of thing she does easter an easter egg hunt for them and um, you know, they just the, all the cousins get together and have a bit of a play. So um, I think you know I'll probably try and make a few bits and pieces. So with to that end, and I don't have the receipt for this. I mean, it just seems to have spontaneously combusted and disappeared somewhere. Um, but uh, yeah, I bought this Easter pick. In fact, I bought two of these because I thought I don't know. I've got no idea what I'm going to do with them. Even if I am going to do anything much with them, I mean, I could potentially use them on a wreath on the front door. I could um, chop uh, chop them up to do that. I could cut them up and use them in a sort of some sort of table display. I don't know. You know, I'll, I'll just have to have a think about it nearer the time and maybe watch some YouTube videos of um, crafters that are actually good at crafting. I quite like doing crafts when I've got something to do, you know, for a reason um but i'm not i'm not one of these people that can just do anything and it looks wonderful um and even with sewing i do quite i quite like to sew when i'm in the mood and i find that really relaxing as well like a bit like the coloring um 
and I've got a couple of friends that I went to school with and they're absolutely wonderful seamstresses but I mean I'm not very good but you know you don't have to be brilliant do you I know it helps but <laughs> it's not like it's my job so um, and the other pick was this one with the little bunnies on so I've got the two of these and one of these and I'll have to see what I'm going to do with those um, and I bought, I haven't opened these yet so we'll open these together, Happy Easter 10 pack of Easter egg string lights, I don't even know if they're battery, I didn't, didn't even think to, oh, it doesn't give you much information on the packet, oh here we go, um, oh, well, I'll find, if I open the box I'll find out won't I, my dog's scratching at the door again now, oh honestly, Sorry about that. Um, okay. I quite like the packaging because they're in an actual egg box, which I, I think you could probably use the box for, oh dear, for cutting up and using in your crafts. Oh, battery. There we go. There we go. So, yeah. I don't think that's a very long string of lights, but... Uh, Maybe I can put that round my wreath on the door. And same thing really. Um, oh, I've just re I've just realised these are candles. Easter candles. I thought they were just, well I mean I don't have to use them as candles. I can cut the wick off and just use them as decor, can't I? In a kind of a basket or something. So anyway, so that was... That was it. That's all I could find in there. I bought, I did buy two packs of them. They've got slightly different colourways. Um, but yeah, I was really disappointed. So um, I don't think I'll bother with home bargains again. Um, okay, well, I'm sorry if this has taken an age. Um, I hope you were interested in some of the things I bought. Um, I've got... Um, I've got a shopping delivery coming later today and I thought I will try to do, you know, show you what I buy at the supermarket because again, I see lots of people do that um, and I, you know, if, if it's something, if, if you like to tell me anything you're interested in me doing, um, please give me some guidance on that because, you know, I would, uh, I, I, as I've said before, it's not a question of just doing what everybody wants, but you know, you want, you want to appeal to people, don't you? And you don't, I don't want to sit here doing things that you're not in the least bit interested in. I know my audience is a little bit older and um, you might be interested in different things um, to other stuff. I don't know, you know what I'm saying anyway. So do let me know, but um, I will, I'll probably film that anyway today. And if you give me any feedback um, that says, no, I'm not interested, then I won't put it up. But um, other than that, I will. And sometimes it's, it's quite interesting to have a little nose, isn't it, to see what other people buy. It's a bit like when you're in the queue in the supermarket and you see all the stuff that other people have picked up and you think, oh, you make a judgment, don't you? Uh, there's no fresh fruit in there. And I always feel when I'm in the queue, because I'm obviously on fat, if I'm buying a lot of sweets for like, if it's Christmas or it's a party or, you know, with with for kids and things I always feel I have to say something to the lady on the checkout so she doesn't think oh my god she's going to go home sit in front of the telly and gorge on these so I always have to say oh yeah yes we've got we've got company at the weekend or we're having a bit of a party and I mean she probably doesn't care at all but I just feel a little bit I don't know weird but um anyway so <laughs> Thank you for your company today. I hope this has been of interest to you. Um, please let me know your comments in the uh, comments box. It's always good to hear from you. If you want to subscribe or like or all the other things that you can do, that would be great. And I really hope to see you again very soon. So you take care. Bye bye.